Welcome to Love Them Knives Channel LTK here. We have a Tucson knife, the TS-107. We'll be right back. Thanks for jumping in and checking out the channel. D2 blade, titanium, frame lock flipper, Wong design. And it's it's all right. It's all right to be Wong because, man, this is a great looking design. Great looking knife. Tucson knives. Go figure, right? I bought mine on eBay. 72 bucks is what I paid for mine. Uh, D win 99 was the seller 13,000 99.9% .9 positive feedback with 13,500 uh, sales Tucson knives are extremely popular uh, We've tested them. They do test correct to the TC4 titanium or TI6-4 grade 5 titanium in any case and uh, Kind of give you a little pause and read a young designer. Yes, he is. Um, there's your millimeters. Okay. 150 grams. D2. 60, 58 to 60. Um, uh, the one I had tested the other day was M390. Uh, it was the TS100. M390 Integral. And guess what? Yes, that tested correct as to M390. And the HRC was 60 right on the button. So this one, uh, I haven't tested. We're testing a lot of different ones. So every once in a while, we skip one. We don't test every uh, every Tucson knife that comes our way. But this one, I just had to put on my channel because look at the machining. Look at the contours on this knife. Oh no, I don't know if it begs for another color or it's just so nice in the silver. Whew. I mean, just a good looking knife. Great design. I'll tell you what, I really like what he's doing with the designs. I'm going to give you the link to his Instagram. I'm kind of back and forth. I chat here and there, but I mean, uh, he, if you look at his Instagram, there's just some crazy, really good designs. I was going to say crazy, but they're not crazy, crazy like a fox designs. In any case, this is, and I didn't take this one apart. Okay, so this is my big bitch about this knife, which ain't, this is going to be the only one because everything else I am cuckoo about. I really like this knife. The way it feels in the hand, uh, the general action, uh, ceramic bearings, the price obviously is an incredible bargain, and you might be able to buy this cheaper. Because that was my bid. And I just decided I'm going to quit fooling around. And so I'm going to jump in. I'm just going to get it for whatever it gets. And so, yeah, I paid 72 bucks, But uh, you might be able to catch one less expensive. you got a mill titanium pocket clip. You've got a titanium backspacer. You know, D2 steel, ceramic bearings. This thing is just a crazy Good looking knife too. I love the design. And if I could find my tape measure, I'd measure the damn thing. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we got it. You know, it's it's a three and three quarter inch blade all day long, 96 millimeters. They say 94, I think, on their specs, but I think they're a little shorting themselves. And really, if you bring it down here, what do you got for cutting length? You got three and three quarter cutting length. Back to the back of that, that choil there is four inches. It's a pretty good size knife. I don't think you appreciate, or I appreciate how long this thing is. It's really out to 22 centimeters, okay? And eight and three quarter with the, with the lanyard piece back here, which also can be used as a striking, you know, implement for whatever. So that's interesting as well. And it was centered right up, came in a big soaking uh, <laughs> oil bath. I mean, they do the, the and I write on mine because there's no model number 
on these. They never put a model number. They don't billboard them up at eh, the Tucson, but I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. Uh, you know, maybe someday they'll morph and they'll change that logo up a little bit. Who knows? Uh, but, you know, kind of gives it that classic, I got a Tucson knife look. But the rest of this, I mean, if you really close your eyes and imagine, like, get rid of this and just say, this is some mid-tech maker or something, and he threw this knife up online, this design, and said, I'm going to make, you know, so many of them, maybe 500 or maybe 200. I think they get snapped up immediately. At $72? No, they'd be, I mean, at $372. So, yeah, D2. Okay, so if it was M390, what would it be? Well, I could tell you because I got the TS100, and that was M390, and that was not $300 either. Okay, so I nabbed that one. I mean, that's just, I think just the 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 value part is just incredible on these. And so I wrote that here, but I was going to show you the kind of paper it comes in yet. Yeah, you know, it they're, they're not getting overly fancy or pretentious. But hey, you don't even know what you're going to buy it for because that's the way they're running them through eBay. Now, I don't know if I'm really that insanely crazy about it, except for, you know, uh, it, it's a pendulum that swings both ways, right? You might... When they first come out, the people that just got to, got to, got to have one, they might pay $120, $150. And then after they've been on there a few weeks and kind of the people that have bought them, bought them, you might be able to come in and scoop one up for maybe $55 to $60. And so that's, that's something that swings both ways. So I never am one of the first ones to get these because they just go for so much. But later, you go, wow, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to swoop in. I'm going to watch them. I'll finally pay attention. And look at that. Now, I wonder if I can, I think I tried to, tried to. Yeah, you can. It's not real easy uh, to finger flick this, but you can. So the cutout's kind of interesting from that regard. The detent is 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 what it should be i think it's what it should be but it's not like a six uh six on my scale it's a five and a half five maybe a five more like can i fail it yes i can fail it and you know one of the viewers the other day said i got like two knives that i haven't been able to fail i've been able to fail every knife i've ever bought other than that so and one was like a custom-made Rexford or something. So, and I agree. Just because you can fail it. Oh, that, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, can I fail it? Just to give you an idea of how the detent holds. But just a lazy flip and it comes out. So, it's pretty and it's very intuitive. You got a jimp flipper tab that's also milled out, you know. So, it's cut out. That's an extra little machining um touch but look at i mean you just look at this it really blew me away because when i saw it before just in pictures and stuff i didn't appreciate the depth and the i mean the total dynamics of what's going on here that's amazing i mean it's just amazing and it feels Ooh, yeah, ooh, we better weigh it. Yeah, it does feel a little heavy, but it feels... Mm. And you know, this is not a 9-inch knife, but it's not far off, okay? You're 4 inches back to here. So this is not a small knife. Where's my... Before I kick my scale on, where did I... Where did I put my ultralight Manix? Probably threw it over here in a pile. Yes, I did. Yeah. Hello. So, I mean, this one's eight inches. This one's bigger, way bigger, way bigger. So, yes, it's a lot bigger than the Para 2 would be. And, um, let's put a couple of measuring devices on here. Ooh, 0 .14, 0 0.147, so 3.75, uh, 
millimeters. That's pretty uh, stout blade stock. I don't think I can get my mic over there, so let's do this. Okay, that's not as um, fat as I thought it was. It's 0.57, and we're crossing across here, so we're catching the fattest part. 14.5 millimeters. I thought it was closer to 6.0 or maybe bigger than that because it feels, it feels full in the hand. And you got this front choil. Um, you know, really, as far as ergos go, I like it. Nice front choil here for sharpening. Reverse grip, fine. Uh, that's a lot of handle there, really. Uh, there's plenty of handle here. So if you have bigger hands, this is really not that bad. In fact, let me throw this back on here. Um, see what we got. Well, not, we don't have a 5-inch handle like we have on the Para 2. It's 4 and 3 quarter and maybe a touch. So, yeah. In any case, look in here. No a weight relieving gone on. And, of course, there's your hardened steel insert. Over travel stop is included in there. Yeah. Like I said, ceramic bearings. Let's turn the scale on. You going to get around to weighing it? Yes, I am. 150 grams. So, you know, when it gets to 188 or so, it's, it's a little on the heavy side for me. Uh, not that I wouldn't carry it, but I'm just saying, you know, for most people's tastes. But 150, now nah, that's kind of middle ground. 5.3. Okay. So, like, it's not 4, which would be kind of really light. But it's not 6 either. So, no, I'd say it's totally acceptable as far as weight goes. And really, I kind of prefer a knife that gives me a little bit more heft. But ain't that pretty. I mean, I can just sit here and look at this knife all day long. I, maybe I've lost my mind. Maybe I'm totally off base, but is that not just a beautiful knife? I, I'm just, uh, this is not the first one that I've got from uh, of his designs. Let's see, point, I think the TS-89 was another one. Uh, I'm looking forward to, I've got the, another one coming in. I can't remember if it's the 108 or what it is, but that uh, he made... So I'm going to have three of his designs, and I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them. Uh, they are classic. They really are. I don't know, but I, I shouldn't say this because I've emailed back and forth with the, the owner of Two Sun Knives. He's actually contacted me um, and because he's seen that I've done these reviews and stuff. And it was just recently that he did. shouldn't say this, but uh, he's picking... Wong could design for anybody, you know, so he could move to ZT, Wee Knives, anybody. He could design for anybody. And uh, so Tucson, you're lucky to have him. And Tucson has other designers now. As we go through these knives, we will see that we've got new designers, not just Night Morning, not just KC Designs, not just Vitesse, but Wong and a, and a few others that are going to be mentioned you really incredible. Nice. Nice action. Okay, my bitch that I forgot to tell you about. I was going to take it apart. Um, I put a T8 in here and I turned the whole pivot around. Okay? And I can't stabilize this here. I'd have to get some offset pliers or something. And I didn't want to tear the knife up before I reviewed it in case something slipped and, and something caught. You know, you've got to put a cloth over it, obviously, if you're going to put jaws down there and try to stabilize that. And you're going to have to heat this probably with a hair dryer, really get it warm to kill that whatever Loctite or whatever's in there. And then, you know, anchor that side down. If this had a Torx availability on the front, I could have broke it loose. I'll tell you what, I like this pivot design here. This is great that they didn't, but if you're going to do that, make it a D-shaped pivot. So this will break loose out of here. I mean, it's centered. The action's great. There's nothing wrong with it. I was just taking it apart so I could take a picture of it uh, disassembled, but you know what? It ain't worth it. It's just too damn nice 
to tear up accidentally. So I'm going to leave it alone. But I, I am disappointed they don't have a D-shaped pivot in here. And that's it. That's that's my bitch. Okay, that's, that's my big uh, complaint. Everything on here. Otherwise, piercing, slicing. Crap, did we ever cut a piece of paper? Nope. Oh, yeah, somebody, uh, okay, somebody did a good job there sharpening that. So, good job there. Get this stuff to move out of the way. Here we go. Got great action on it. It's really nice. Yeah, it's not laid on the detent either. It gets right over that detent ball when you do that. So, great, uh, you know how I do, play toy. We all sit there and fidget. Uh, while we're thinking about other things, except cutting our thumb off. But I mean, I, I like it. Really do. It's an awesome knife. <sighs> I'm going to let you go. But this one's a keeper. His designs really uh, enthrall me. And, and maybe this is not your uh, cup of tea. But you know what? One of these might be, right? One of these might be, and there are all kinds of things coming out now. Check that out, except front flipper be damned. I'm gonna finger flick this one, but these are different designers here, all. How crazy is that? But they're all two sun knives. I'm gonna let you go, thank you so much. Watch for my reviews on these other ones. Keep them coming. I'm gonna be the two sun king. I live in Tucson, not Tucson. Maybe we'll have to rename the town. That's an idea. All right, stay crazy out there. Thank you for dropping in. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.